ining sa ICT. Ansa ganang ICT? What is ICT? Kinsa may maka-remember? When you say ICT, it is the meaning sa ICT gani? Information and Communications Technology. So how do you receive updates about the daily activities of your families and friends, especially those who are far away? So karon as you know that technology is kwa naman uh, nagka kwa na advanced technology na so we use ICT so through communication. So how do you conduct research and task to produce a report for a particular subject? Oh. We, we use ICT. So this afternoon, we will know uh, uh, information and communication technology, categorize the components of ICT, and list the benefits of having ICT as a tool in societal development. Okay, are you familiar with these two expressions? What do this expression means? Certain way of saying an expression, a phrase, a name of institution, a method, a place, or an event. It is formed by combining the first letters of each word from a series of words, acronym. So, oh my gosh, laughing out loud. Dili, oh my God, ha? Kay bad na. Oh my gosh. Hindi man pwede na ito ikaw ng name ni God. So, how do you think your life would be if computers did not exist up to now? So, how? So, unsa man kuno ka itong life if why computers ka ron? So especially karon especially pandemic pag yun. So lisod kayo di ta ka contact, di ta ka kwan sa balay ka communicate, nagsigil lang taglingkod, basa-basa ra murag feel nako murag maglisod gyud. Si kalo especially karon nga mga mga bagong tubo karon kay more on technology na sila. So lisod jud siguro if why computers. So now, what is information and communications technology? Take note, tamo na correct nga meaning sa ICT ha. Information and communications technology. So when you say in ICT class, it refers to technologies that are used to support the processing, storing, securing, and transmitting of information. Mission. Anong di atanan? The process, store, secure, and transmit. So, what are the components of ICT class? So, there are three components. We have three basic components. Component. We have people. So, when we say people, these are the individuals responsible for the development, improvement, and maintenance of ICT system. Like, for example, mga computer engineering, mga nana. Sila may mga kuan like mga Kana mga la dagan about basa nag involve of kuan computer mo na sila people na then we also have procedures ah uh, we say procedures are uh, actions performed in a certain order and conditions to make sure an ICT system runs smooth so kinala na di procedures at ang ICT because aron step by step smooth ang iyang pagkuan sa ICT smooth iyang pag-run sa system. Next, we also have hardware. So, kailan naman mo hardware? Mone sila ang mga technical term used to describe physical or tangible parts of computer system. So, when you say tangible, mahikap na to. Mga computer, laptop, uh, uh, mouse, mone sila, mga hardware. CPU, kana mahikap na to. Hardware na sila. So, the example, oh, another example, desktop, computers, laptops, tablets, smartphones. So, okay, bono mo ani. Then next, we have software. When you say software class, it is a generic term for computer programs and applications installed in your hardware. So, mean to say, ka ng mga apps sa itong cellphone or mga apps sa itong laptops, mo na sila yung mga software, ka nang i-installed, ka nang naka-install ng mga app, mga app sa itong cellphones, tablets, or etc. Hardware, software na sila, intangible, hindi na ito mahikap. So, software responsible for providing set of instructions that the computer has to follow to accomplish a specific task. So, example of software, we have word processing app, mga app, 
spreadsheet so kana spreadsheet ara mag yeah, maghimo grado graphic manipulation software mga antivirus software mga computer games o operating system so kana basa na mga naasya sa sud sa atong mga laptop computers ah mo na siya software na siya so we also have data when you say data class it is a row facts or figures that can be processed stored and transmitted by an ICT system so meaning data class mo na sud mo na sud sa atong mga tibuhat data mga nang binuhat na to mga data na siya kaya itong mga binuhat. So, we also have information. When we say information, it is a result of process, organized, and structured data. So, muna siya kanang mga kanang result sa itong pag-process, organized, and structured data, information ang tawag na. So, now, after knowing what ICT is, what ICT device or devices do you own and how do they help you in your everyday life? Now, ICT at home. What are the common uses of ICT devices in your home? So, kasagara na yung mga laptop or mobile laptop, cell phones, mora gina siya or tablet, tablets. So, ICT as communication tool. So, what ICT device do you often use in communicating? Ano sa man kasagara? Ah, Messenger ba? Instagram? Facebook? O pwede man ang Instagram sa mga chat-chat dito or Hmm. Unsa man yung kasagaran gigamit to? Kasagaran siguro Messenger. May dali. Kay pwede ra walay load. Free data. Next, next, ICT and education. How does ICT help you learn? So, kasagaran oh, because of technology kung na di malibgan, we can search on the Google or YouTube. Oh, man asya. It helps us to learn. So, ICT and employment. How does ICT assist people in doing their job? Oh, you using technology. So, ang for example, karon pandemic, ang kasagaran ng eskulan work from home. Oh, sa ilang trabaho na rasa balay work from home. Nana, of if magsend og anang padala po, it is a through online. If mga apply ka through online, oh, dabi dako na si dabi kay ang ICT. ICT ang government. Oh, kung mo bayad sa ta sa kanan nate adun mga mo kantag mga SS mga pag-ibig mo kanta online so adun lang nato sa tung schedule ana so ICT and commerce what are the advantages that you experience while purchasing products online oh online kung maligya ka kung maligya ka imong i-purchase so na sa kay makita na commerce kung nakai baligya imong i-post sa Facebook ni mo then na imong malit mo comment Dako juga gamit ang ICT. ICT entertainment. Oh, pwede sad. Manan auta sa YouTube o mga kuan or sa Netflix, iFlex, mga entertainment. Okay, listed on the next slides are ICT related items, classified items, hardware, software, people by writing them. Ad ko na nisya ansiranan. Ad to ra pansiran na to na ko at Kuan na to? Kanang ako isend sa kuan Google Classroom. Jaranan man eh. Uh, social, mobile, and assistive media. So, para sa man yung unsay kalayan ni social, ni mobile, and assistive media. So, before that, nasa tayo ko ang gamay, motivation. Yes, YouTube, another... We have yes, got nagnia Twitter, Facebook, Pinterest, YouTube, another. What's up, Pagyod? Tumblr. Huh? Tum. Kanang kwan ha? Website ha? Website. Na magamit. Wala man o tum. Di man. Tum L R. G four. Unsa Marjon? Gay poor. Gay. Okay. Okay. Which of the websites you found is the most common to you? So, ang imong first na kitan Marjon. So, when we say social media, 
it can be described as websites or applications that give people the capability to share and receive information and media contents with one another. So social media like Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, kato mga social media tatong diskutan ganiyan. What are the types of social media? So we have the types of social media class. First, social networking site. So when you say social networking site, it provides users with a real-time conversation via text messages, audio or video chat, like one messenger, like messenger, or sa pailain nga naay ko an um uh, missiles audio video so gito yung mga app daga basta dagang app nga kanang maka message audio na video chat one of those is messenger so moto siya next another kinds of uh one so media we have media sharing site so when say media sharing site the primary purpose is to share multimedia contents like photographs audio files or video. So, media sharing size ang tawag na klasa. Share multimedia. So, as a student, how do you benefit from using media sharing site? So, I know nga. Dako kini network sites. So, kwan siya class? It provide users with tools that will help them to publish their content in a creative and engaging manner. So, mag-blog. Kina siya class? Blog. Another types of Social media, blog. Dali raman, pagbuat o blog. So next, we have discussion site. So, designed for individuals who are avid fans of forum and debate. So, kung fan ka sa mga forum debate, discussion site imong tanahon. Next, bookmarking and content curation site. So, It, these are the platforms for people who are searching for information or ideas to help them on project they're working on. So mga sites nga imong ka nang magamit sa mga project ni mo. Kung natin mga project, add to sa bookmarking and content creation sites. So we also have consumer review network. So these are for people who want to provide and share information about different product. So consumer, so mga negosyo-negosyo, siya. So what are the factors to consider for a product or view to be valid? So mo to siya ang mga social media class. So next, uh, what is mobile media? So mobile media, kanang yan, sa una pa cellphone, na 3210, 3310, antun, nagkahitik na. Mara, tawag kita yung cellphone dara. So mobile media, mobile media. So when say mobile media class, it refers to the communication devices that are characterized by portability or the ability to be moved or carried easily. Mobile media. Kanang gigamit na to class. Mobile media. What mobiles do you have at home? Kanang mga. Ano sa tungo gamit? Laptop ba or tablet ba or cellphone? Mo na siya mobile media class. Mo na siya social media. Katong mga atong mga site nga mga app nga itong sudlon. Mobile media is mismo ang gigamit na itong media. Now, we also have assistive media. Kaya tuloy naman yung kaklase ng media. We have uh, social media, um, mobile media, and assistive media. Ang assistive media class, it is an electronic device or programs that seek to reach out to PWD by providing the support that will increase or improve their functional capability through the use of technology. So, kaning assistive media class, para ni siya sa mga taong PWD, person with disability, PWD. Assistive niya to assess their kanang uh, disability. Kanang, kung may problema sa pang, kanang hearing or sa see, seeing or kanang yung mga, di ka, na yung mga disability, assistive media ang para nila class. So na sila, oh, types of assistive media. We have for visually impaired, for people with hearing impairments, Dung, pang dungog, kanil pang tanaw, people with speech difficulty, maglisod og story, ha? for people with learning difficulty, maglisod og cut on learning. So why is it important for us to develop technology to help persons with disability? So it is very important class because uh, 
uh, especially them dili kay sila kakuha di pa rin nato nga kompleto ta so naaji technology nga maka-assess nila nga magamit nila para ma-improve sa ilahang lifestyle mo nang that's the importance of assistive media so ne uh, okay, next we have convergent technologies and evolution of the web so what do you think did the websites of 1990 look like Maybe that could make a difference. Ilang website sa una. So, do you believe that people from three decades ago shared the same experience that they have nowadays when using internet? Ah, did it? No, different na. Okay. Sa una ba yung web is like ko anhay ba yung way of information? Sa mga tawag po technology, paano sa padala padala sa swat, box box, mailing mailing. So, we will know the convergent technologies. The three C of converging technologies: website from web page, differentiated static web page from dynamic web page, evaluate technology web 1.0, web 2.0, web 3.0. So, what is technological convergence? So, when we say technological convergence, or what we call simply converged technologies, it refers to the state in which two or more Technology entities and functions are combined into one device or system. The mix in the class and technological converse two or more technology. The mix as one combined. So what are the modalities of technological converse? So we have three C. The modalities of the technology converse. We have computing technology, content technology, communication technology. So when you say computing technology class, it refers to the improvements made on electronic devices or gadget combining the function of two devices into one gadget. Okay, computing from the word compute. Next, content technology is combines different media formats such as text, pictures, sounds, and videos into one multimedia content. So content, nice, mga unsay sulod, mga text, pictures, sounds, ano na siya? An example. We also have communication technology refers to the fast and effective transfer of information through collaboration of every communication technology. Oh, mga kwan, gigamit from word communication technology sa ibang gipanggamit to communicate. So how is technology convergence helping to make our life easier? Give examples related to this. So katogan yamo tay mga example na daan. What is the use of website or technology convergence? So Gamit ni siya class because ah kanang it will help us to kanang kung unsa yung mga ganahan na to is we can use this technology converse. Moro lang gyapon ni siya kwan good kanang it talks about ICT man gyapon. So website versus web page. So unsa ilang kalian. So a very reliable technology that aids people in communicating, researching for information, and disseminating information. So when you see website, it is composed of web pages hyperlinked together. So when you website, composed of web pages. So a website composed is of web pages. W W W. Unsa ni ang ana? WW. Sige mag-search. Ano sige meaning sa WW? Kanang, sige mo dyan ninyo yung gigamit ni. So, that is WWW. Next, what is the static web page versus dynamic web page? So, in this static class, it is characterized by fixed content. All elements are hard-coded and embedded in the web page. So, fixed na dyan dyan. Static. Dile na siya ma-usap. Bawagin na siya. Static. Static. Mo na gina fix na gyud. So you see dynamic known for being changeable. So dynamic gani mausab and can be manipulated by the user. You can change makausab pa gyud nato dynamic web page. Evolution of the web. So first sa una is 1.0, the first generation of websites. Makita niyo diha oh. That was marked as read only web. HTML and unsa meaning aning HTML? HTML class it is hypertext markup language and CSS. Nakwan nak nakalimot kaniyang CSS. 
Saka to ni. For styling are the tools used in Web 0.0. In Web 1.0. Muna ang Web 1.0. Ang Web 2.0 class referred as writable web and social web. Transform from static to dynamic web page in website. So mausap, makuha na ang web point, na-improve ng web 2.0 kay marirritable naman ang social web also. Static to dynamic. Ang web 3.0, the executable web of web evolution. Deliver customized service, perform real-time analysis, and generate reports with AI. AI. So practice, ah, wala na. 